Hi everyone, I hope that you are all doing well. Today I thought I would go ahead and do the 50 facts about me tag that I saw Holly from Journal with Dolly do recently and thought it would be fun to give it a shot. So that's what I'll be talking about in the voiceover today. On screen, I'll be decorating a few pages, so hopefully you can grab your journal and journal along with me. Let's get started with some facts about me. Number one, my name is Emily, hence Emily Journals. If I were born a boy though, my name would have been Brandon. I don't think my name has any special meaning or like deeper connection. I just think that those were two of the most popular names in the 90s for babies and my parents were like, yeah, let's just roll with it. Number two, I don't really have a nickname as I'm boring. I just like Emily, but one of my uncles calls me Emmy. I don't know where that came from. I'm thinking maybe the show Dragon Tales is that was my absolute favorite child's cartoon when I was a toddler. Number three, I have a younger brother. Number four, I've been journaling since the fifth grade, I think. That's the earliest my journals or diaries are dated, so I'm just going to place it back then. But I probably wrote before then, but just ripped the pages out because those things were just too embarrassing for my 10-year-old emotional state to handle. Number five, I'm from New York. Not the city, but I'm not too far either. I'm actually just in the suburbs. Every now and then I go down to the city though. But yeah, I've lived here my whole life and I like it here. I don't think I can really see myself living anywhere else. For six, I don't have any pets. I had hermit crabs and fish though growing up. One time my brother and I let our hermit crabs walk around the house because we wanted them to, you know, explore. And then we had to end up doing a rescue mission because one of them crawled under the kitchen stove. For seven, I was afraid of dogs growing up. I think I had like some type of bad experience with large dogs as a toddler and so I never really forgot about that. But then one day my cousin got a puppy, a little puggle, and my opinions changed. Now he's like 14 or 15 years old and I just love him and love dogs in general. Number eight, I also have like a small fear of rodents in general. I mean, I can look at them and it just makes me cringe, but I'm like, I'm not deathly afraid of them. I think this all just stems from a mouse or rat being in my grandparents' house when I was younger. It just grossed me out. Number nine, I want a dog someday and would want a Boston Terrier or a Corgi. Number 10, my favorite animal growing up were zebras, but now that I think about it, I don't really find them appealing anymore. I'm just not crazy about them or horses in general right now. Number 11, my favorite animal right now would probably be octopi. I just have an unexplainable interest in them. Following that, I collect squishmallows, so one day I fell down a rabbit hole due to TikTok, and now I have a bunch of squishmallows, which are basically plush stuffed animals. You can see one in the video. That's Janet the jellyfish. I'm not going to say how many, but I have a lot. I really like the octopi though and currently have nine of those. The other aquatic animals are really cute too, like Stacy the squid, who's one of my favorites out of all of the ones I have. So this leads me to fact 13. My favorite appetizer when out to eat is fried calamari. I just wanted to shift the topic to food and saw my avenue here, but for real, I love a good calamari dish. One time when I was in Canada and Ottawa, I had the absolute best fried calamari ever at this Greek restaurant and never forgotten about it. I really like the Greek style better than like dipping it in marinara sauce at Italian restaurants. Number 14, I like gyros. I always pronounce it wrong. I forgot the actual spelling of it. I say it, you know, the Americanized way. But in general, I like sandwiches and gyros. I think it might be gyros is how you pronounce it really. But I just like them, especially with like a nice warm pita. My favorite type of cuisine overall would be Italian though, because I love pasta, bread, and cheese. So number 16, my favorite restaurant is Olive Garden. Don't judge me for that, but I just love how fresh their salads taste, their breadsticks are to die for. I love a good bre bread basket at restaurants like Texas Roadhouse's Rolls. Delicious. My lobsters, cheddar bee biscuits. Amazing. For 17, I don't like seafood though, so I honestly only would go to Red Lobster for the biscuits if like other people wanted to go there to eat. Number 18, I want to learn how to actually cook. I can only make eggs and pasta, so I Cooking meat makes me nervous as I fear undercooking it and then eating it raw. 19, my favorite ice cream flavor is cookies and cream. Number 20, I like drinking my coffee with hazelnut creamer. I really only drink it ice too. So hot coffee doesn't really appeal to me. I also like peppermint mocha creamer. 21, I used to play softball growing up and also attended karate classes. I think I ended up being a blue belt or high blue belt, something like that. But then I gave up because I got lazy and got my first iPod touch. So that's when the electronic age started for me. 
I'm kind of glad my parents didn't give me like a phone or iPod or whatever so early in life as I've seen what has happened to like younger generations. Now they're glued to the devices and they have a different perspective on childhood. Kind of regret giving up softball though because I think I was kind of good at it and it was really enjoyable. 22, I really like following sports but from a more broad standpoint, like I can't really tell you about every single statistic. But I'm interested overall in sports. So here in America, our big four are baseball, football, hockey, and basketball. So those are the ones that I usually tend to follow. Speaking of, when I'm filming this, the Super Bowl is coming up. I haven't gotten to watch the Super Bowl on an actual TV year in years because I was away at university and had to watch my laptop. So I'm excited, but I'm not really excited about the matchup though. 23, I am a Mets fan for baseball, Jets fan for football, basketball, I don't really have any preference because it's kind of boring to actually watch. I have some general insight into the environment though, but would probably end up rooting for the Knicks. And then hockey, uh, again, I don't have any interest, but um, I would probably root for the Islanders, I guess. 24, I've been to 26 of the 30 Major League Baseball team stadiums so far, so a couple of them got new parks since I was last there, but I think that's a fun fact to share. I just have to hit up Seattle, two stadiums in Texas, so the Rangers and the Astros, and then I have to go to Colorado. Those are kind of all out of the way though, so when we plan trips, we usually try to hit multiple at a time and kind of like connect the dots. Favorites would have to be Wrigley Field in Chicago, Fenway Park, because I just love the old feel of the stadiums. And then I like the San Francisco Giants Park. The views are beautiful. And then of course the Mets Park here in New York City Field. 25, so on that note this has to deal with travel. I love to travel, I've mostly traveled around the US but I've also been to eastern parts of Canada. I would love to go to Vancouver someday so maybe when I go to Seattle you know drive up to Vancouver. My favorite city is San Francisco though. It's so expensive and I doubt I'd ever want to live there but I mean, New York isn't exactly cheap either, but I don't know, San Francisco just seems much more expensive. Number 26, I really want to go to Europe someday, so going to England, Spain, Greece, France. I'd love to go to China and Japan as well, but that's all super expensive. But I definitely want to visit Paris. I've talked about this a few times, but I really want to go to the art museum there, the Louvre. On this topic, number 27, I love looking at art. I actually have an art history minor. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but I have a deep appreciation for art history and I just find the subject so interesting and entertaining. 28, my favorite paintings include The Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh. A Sunday Afternoon on La Grand Chateau by Georges Seurat, and pretty much like any Impressionist painting overall. I just love that time period and the look of their works. 29, my favorite season is a toss-up between spring and fall. It's not too hot, not too cold, just right, and they both bring such beautiful atmospheres with them, like the flowers blooming and the leaves falling. For 30, I love movies, especially 80s and 90s movies. I don't know, a lot of modern films just don't click with me. I think the ones that do are more making commentary on societal issues or take place at some other point in time, like Little Women, for example. Number 31, I had a weird obsession with the film Titanic in middle school, so it's really embarrassing. It all started because my friend had gone to the re-release of the movie in theaters with her mom, and I was like, wow, I should look into that movie. And then I got the DVD, it just spiraled, and now I have this poster of Leonardo DiCaprio like with the dinner scene quote, you know, life's a gift and I don't intend on wasting it. So I have that in a frame in my room. Um, I had a Titanic fan page on Instagram with like 2,000 followers. I was obsessed and then my family knew that I was obsessed. Everyone knew I was obsessed. So this one time, my cousins and aunt, and like, they invited me to go on a cruise with them, and I was like, no. And then they thought I was saying no because I had this fear of drowning on the ship. And they were like, you know, they have better lifeboats now than they did back then, right? And I just, <laughs> that was just so funny, and I just didn't really feel like going. Do you have any weird obsessions like that in middle school? I mean, don't get me wrong, Titanic is an amazing movie, but I just think, looking back now retrospectively, that, that was really weird to be so obsessed with this one movie. That's like not even, you know, a big fandom. 
if you get what I'm saying. For 32, I like John Hughes movies, you know, like The Breakfast Club, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I also like rom-coms in general. You can't really go wrong with those. Action films, I talk about The Godfather all the time. Die Hard is also pretty good. Number 33, Star Wars is also a series I really enjoy, although the latest sequel trilogy kind of sucks. They messed it up. The only good movie from that trilogy was The Last Jedi, which was under a different director than the other two, just saying. I haven't watched The Mandalorian yet though, but Baby Yoda, he's super cute. Love him. He's an icon. Number 34, just as with movies, I also have like a lack of taste in music. So I listen to whatever's on the radio or like the top 100 at the time. Or Swift and Lady Gaga are the only artists I can really say I've stuck with for a while from the modern day. I like 80s music though, but you know, that's all like the popular stuff. People always say that they like these cool bands and groups that I've never heard of and I'm like, oh. I mean, I like most of Fleetwood Mac and Queen's work though, but again, they're kind of old. Number 35, with TV shows, again, I like older stuff, so Friends, Full House, I like One Tree Hill, Gossip Girl, Gilmore Girls, Grey's Anatomy, but I have not watched like the last three seasons. Number 36, I got to meet all four of my grandparents, which I feel like is kind of a rare thing you hear these days. I'm very grateful for that though. Number 37, I also got to meet my great-grandmother on my maternal side. She lived till she was like 100, I think. I'm honestly not really sure how old she was, but I didn't really know her well because of a language barrier, but she always knit me like mini versions of the sweater vest she would wear. And I have those tucked away somewhere, so I'll at least treasure those. So number 38, I like to read. I'm mostly reading contemporary fiction or chick lit now because I'm trying to steer clear of like dense things because I think school kind of drained me out on that front. I like reading things that really challenge me in thinking though. I always want to continue to be learning something and better educating myself on the way that others see and live life. I think that's one of the beauties in journaling. I intend on leaving my journals behind for future generations so that they can take what they will from my perspective of the world. I wish that my relatives kept journals or diaries so that I could gain insight into their perspective of the world. Right now I'm actually reading Ronald Reagan's diary from when he was president. That's not to say I necessarily agree or like his policies. But I just think it's cool he left behind a record of his views during his presidency. I mean, Trump kind of did that with his Twitter before it was deleted. So on top of that, I'm just a big nerd in general. I love history. Sometimes I would watch old interviews, speeches, different documents, all different things from all different presidents. Princess Diana, celebrities, I just eat it all up and I love it. Number 40, I was born in July so I always had my birthday parties with my schoolmates in June before people went away for summer vacation. Having a summer birthday is actually kind of nice. Since I'm a July baby, my zodiac sign is Cancer. I honestly don't know what that means but feel free to enlighten me, educate me. I don't really follow horoscopes or anything related to that, but I am of course open to people giving me info on that front and I'd love to learn more. In the Myers-Briggs test, I'm in INFJ. Is anyone else an INFJ? I feel like that type is really common in the journaling community. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I would definitely recommend checking the test out on 16personalities.com. Number 43, my favorite color right now is a lavender or pastel purple color. I honestly flip-flop on this all the time. Maybe I just don't have an actual favorite color, but I tend to gravitate toward pastels a lot. Number 44, I love Christmas. So this past Christmas, I started celebrating in like October. I was just so bored, you know, because of the pandemic, nothing else was really going on. But this year, I'll probably slow down and wait until like mid-November to start celebrating. It's just my favorite time of the year though, and I just like to make the most of it. Number 45, I never really have shown my face on camera, except sometimes I might sneak in a picture in my journal flip-throughs. But I wear glasses. I had to get glasses in the 6th grade. I don't know what happened to my vision, but one day I just couldn't see clearly. And I envy people that just wake up and can see perfectly for free. I also had braces as a kid. So my neighborhood group of friends and acquaintances, we all had braces and we all went to the same orthodontist, but I was the only one who had an underbite. So I had to go through a different treatment plan. 
So they all had like this headgear thing that you would wear at night and I had something else that was like, it would go from my forehead to my chin and my parents would call me like Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lambs because that's what it looked like. Number 47, my first celebrity crush was probably Zac Efron. I was obsessed with High School Musical when I was younger. I had all the merch, posters, everything. I was totally a Disney Channel kid growing up, but don't get me wrong, Nickelodeon had good shows too. Number 48, my favorite font is Comic Sans, or Sans, I'm probably saying that wrong, but I like the bubbly looking fonts. I wish I could submit assignments in Comic Sans, because, but sadly, you know, Times New Roman is the go-to. Number 49, I've never really met any celebrities unless like athletes count. Do athletes kind of celebrities? Maybe, but personally, I don't know. I like to separate their identities, but I guess to an extent, I guess you could say they're the same since athletes are kind of entertainers. But my dad met Al Pacino and Keanu Reeves once in the 90s, and I'm kind of jealous about that. So number 50, the last fact, is that lately I've been just trying to get healthier and lose some weight. So in high school, I lost like 20 pounds, but then when I went off to college, I sort of gained that all back. But I've always been kind of fascinated and intrigued by health and nutrition and what that does for the body. But I, I've never been like super obsessed about it. So yeah, those are just 50 facts about me. I'm going to be honest, it was hard for me to write this list as I'm somewhat of a private, reserved person. I'm not as outgoing or brave as some people are when they share things about themselves. That's why you see a lot of post-it notes in my flip-throughs and I'm not as open as other people are. Here in the community. I just want to add my input to the conversation as I have seen a lot of people go through some things here on YouTube in regards to privacy in their journals. I don't really care if you read what I don't cover as what I don't cover isn't really important to me. But please, when it comes to other people's journals and other people's videos, don't call them out for things you read in their journals or see in their videos. Simply just don't watch their videos if you don't like it or don't necessarily agree. Like I said earlier, we all come from different perspectives and it's important that we see each other and see these differences, but not get all defensive about it. Please just be kind and spread kindness as that's what the world needs these days. Anyway, I'm just wrapping up this little journaling session now with some writing. I'm writing in red pen for once, which is really different. Also, if you see that bruise on my arm, I slipped on my friend's steps last week after it snowed and landed on my arm. It literally took me like three days to figure out where I might have gotten this bruise from. I was just looking at it and I was like, I don't remember doing this. Did I do something in my sleep? But then I remembered that I fell down the steps and my brother watched me on our security cameras. So funny. So I'm going to let the video play out the last couple of minutes. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about me. I think it would be fun to make this a little prompt in your journal. List 50 facts about yourself. Is it a challenge? Maybe. Well, I hope that you're all doing well and staying safe, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye!